Prism Pro provides an end-to-end -end seamless operation experience by connecting actionable signals from the machine learning to accessible smart automation that our customer can easily to build and trust. By doing so, Prism Pro increases the efficiencies of our customers' IT operations flow and helps our customers maximize their benefits of modern data centers infrastructure. Prism Pro continues its journey in 517 by unlocking many more use cases for automation and let this triangle be leveraged by more operations tasks. Prior to 517, one can trigger uh, a automations by alert or directly from a UI. In 517, we introduce four more trigger types and three more actions. These new trigger types including scheduling, events, multiple alert policies, as well as, as webhook. Now for combined, there's totally six trigger types and 25 actions out of the box, many more new use cases can be unlocked. Here are just a few examples. For example, in 5.17, our customers can easily to build bidirectionally integration between a ticket system such as ServiceNow and the Prism Pro. Now they can very easily to schedule an automation task, for example, such as you can power on VMs to handle the peak workload and then power off during other time. You can use Playbook's capabilities to create a uh, rich body of notification and send them through an email or third-party notification systems. With the new trigger type of events and webhook, now you can very easily to build approval process. You can leverage more conditions of your system to trigger automation. So here I'm going to have a short demo to illustrate one of these examples. In this example, the owner of a over-provisioned VM is going to power off the VM, and that will automatically send out a request to reduce the VM memory. Operators will log into the ticket system, approve the ticket, and the memory will be automatically be reduced and the VM will be back on automatically as well a owner will receive a notification. So let's see how that works. So here we have a, a VM called Demo VM, which is a four gigabytes memory and a power out. Now I know it's over provisioned, but I can't reduce the memory because there's workloads currently is running. Now it's completed. I'm going to shut off, power off the VM. And I will automatically send a ticket to the ticket system with built for this demo and asking for the memory reduction during the VM power off uh, time period. So I just received as a VM owners a message saying now I have a request of memory reductions and the request that I've been sending to a ticket system. Let me log into the ticket system as operators. Once I log in, I saw that's a new ticket just be submitted. And I'm going to approve the ticket. And that will trigger the automation process that will reduce the memory of that VM as well as sending owners a notifications and automatically power on the VM after the task is completed. So again, now I receive a new message saying my memory was reduced by one gigabytes. Let's go back to the process. See so now it's it used to be off. Now it becomes three gigabytes. The VM is powered on again. The whole process is supported by two playbooks. The first playbooks using the event as a trigger point will automatically submit a ticket to the ticket system. And second alerts will be triggered by the operated approval process. We'll re reduce the memory send me notifications, power on the VM, and resolve the service ticket automatically. We're going to talk about these two playbooks in the tutorials in our next post.